how do you manage your time and balance all this? <laughs> I remember um, in orientation, my um, orientation leader was Adam Bridges. He um, was like, he says, my biggest tip of advice, Google Calendar. Google Calendar, mm-hmm. Google Calendar, Google Calendar. And I was like, huh? Mm-hmm. I've never used a calendar before. I was always just used to like, my mom texts me, hey, you have a doctor's appointment at 3 p.m. <laughs> tomorrow. I'm going to pick you up. Okay. <laughs> like, um, but when I was getting super involved at the time, at the beginning, I wasn't using a calendar. I was kind of, I'd write notes and stuff. But then I realized sometimes those notes would get lost. And sometimes like, so I was like, okay, what's, let's reassess here. What's the best way for me, because everyone has different ways of organizing, for me to organize myself to be successful? Google Calendar. That has probably saved my life so many times. <laughs> and I set up reminders for a 10 minute reminder, 30 minute reminder, a day That's reminder, smart. a week reminder. Because I'm like, okay, a week from now I have this I have this essay coming up, for example. I go, I'll do it for essays due. So I'm like, okay, I have two weeks, one week, four days, three days. Okay, now I need to actually start either wrapping it up or making final touches to it. And so for involvements, I block out the times for, like, for example, ASBSU joint meeting, maybe Bronco Ambassador Tour, like a student philanthropy board, the crowd, what athletic events happening. And so sometimes there'd be overlap, but then um, sometimes that um, – some things we get done early or some things we go over time. And so my biggest thing is Google Calendar. Um, I've also sought resources. So I've, um, one resource that was really helpful was I went to the peer academic consultant in the Smash building. And so I went for the um, topic of time management. Because even though I was pretty organized, there were still some errors. Because not everything's perfect, but I wanted to see a different perspective on how they fix those errors. Mm -hmm. And so like now I use, um, I forget her name, but she uh, was showing me like that she uses Google Tasks. So it's like she puts it as a widget on her phone so she can see what's what's going on by each day or what she needs to get done that day or even that week. Um, My calendar was just all one color, just blue. So it was just big blue, just like big blue splurges everywhere. And so she was like, she was like, whoa. She was like, she was like, my suggestion, (laughs) if this is, if you would like, if this would work for your brain, is she showed me her counter, she does it color coded. So she says like like uh, her, maybe ITM class is green and her English 101 is blue. And so she could see and correlate and also her notebooks would correlate with the colors. So that also helped her, I was like, huh. And so I started doing that. So I'd be like, maybe yellow is, like yellow is ASBSU, orange is anything involved with the crowd or athletics. Um, blue is like, um, I think I put blue as like the gym or I put, um, red as like big tasks like hey doctor's appointment hey your critical essay exam is due Sunday so then that actually helped me my brain better understand like okay because sometimes a blue s like if a blue essay tab was due and like a, a, a blue like event it would blend together but color coding it made me see that okay red is more red is like urgent due this day um, orange is like an athletic event so that would that's probably that's one way I um, organize myself also discipline Mm-hmm. Um, oh my gosh! I my mom calls me the king of the king of dilly dallying <laughs> because at, I mean, and I still and I still will procrastinate sometimes. Like I'm not like, like, like who doesn't? Per- like, yeah, like I'm not perfect, but I think I think the w- cool thing about organizing yourself is you know what? No one's perfect. Hey, if if you're someone who has complete 100 percent discipline and you are on top of everything, good for you. I admire you. Teach me. <laughs> yes, yes, but. Um, you know, even people who are organized or people who find their ways to help them organize, there's always room for improvement. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. I thought I was organized, but when I reached out to that resource as the peer academic consultant, helped me re- organize myself better. And there's still room to help myself organize better. And so my biggest piece of advice is or- organizing yourself really does help you. It sets mm-hmm. those boundaries. And sometimes you're going to procrastinate. Sometimes you're going to feel tired today and be like oh I know I blocked two hours for homework but I need to take a 30 minute nap yeah like you come first your mental health Mm -hmm. comes first schools school is also really important and then family and friends and but um, when you organize yourself it really helps you especially like it was like for me helps my brain like okay like understand what's coming next what what's um, what's on my priorities what's going to help me and focusing on what's coming up next and what's going to be in the future which then prepares you for less procrastination in my case like like I know an essay is coming up so my brain and getting those like one week from now or two weeks from now it actually helps me less procrastinate because I'm like okay maybe I should start maybe I'm going to look at the rubric and see what the essay is supposed to be about 
as opposed to two days before I'm like, okay, what's this essay about, mm-hmm. you know, so. Yeah, that's yeah. really good advice. Big <laughs> fan of the color coding for sure. I might have to jump on the Google Calendar side of things because I just keep my stuff in a spreadsheet, but oh, then wow. it's easy to, you know, forget about it or be like, I'm not going to look at the spreadsheet mm-hmm. today. Um, so yeah, that's really good advice. And being disciplined in uh, how you spend your time, um, disciplined in like caring for yourself and mm-hmm. like what your priorities are. Um, yeah, that's just really good advice for students. 